In this lecture, we are going to understand abstract design pattern, sometimes called as factory of factories. We are going to understand an example of ice cream. Suppose you want different kind of ice creams that may be a cup type ice cream or maybe a brick type ice cream. So you went to abstract factory and through abstract factory, you went to the exact factory, whether it's a cup type factory or a different factory that is called a brick type factory. If you went to a cup type ice cream factory, there you found that there are two type of ice creams which are in cup type, vanilla and strawberry. Similarly, you went to a different factory where the brick type of vanilla and strawberry are being built. So depending upon the choice, you went to the different factories and this abstract layer basically help you out to went to that particular factory, a cup type or a brick type factory. So one layer above the exact factory. So you are going to understand the same example with this coding. So in this main method, we are going to understand the abstract design factory pattern. So first of all, we will create this interface of ice cream. In this, we will just provide a single method which will be implemented by all the ice creams. So first, let's create a class of vanilla cup type ice cream. So this is vanilla cup and this will implement the ice cream interface. Through this interface, we will get a method that is get ice cream name. And inside this, we are going to write the value of that particular ice cream. So it's a vanilla cup ice cream I'm going to print here. Similarly, I'll create the other classes. Let it be the second type that is strawberry type. So I'm going to name it as strawberry cup. And inside this method, I'm going to print that's a strawberry cup ice cream. So two type of cup are created. And now let's create a brick type, the other two types. So let's create vanilla brick and similar interface will be implemented here and I'm going to print that this is a vanilla brick and again a strawberry brick and I'm going to print that's a strawberry brick ice cream it will be strawberry brick so all the ice creams are built now now let's create different factories before that we are going to create a first layer that is the abstract factory so for that to determine which type of factory it is I'm going to first write abstract factory or I abstract ice cream factory. Here I am going to provide that, see this is a ice cream and this ice cream will be returned through get ice cream by type method. And I am going to provide the type through enum here, whether it's a vanilla type or it's a strawberry type. You can use string also, but I'm just using for the best practice as a enum, that is a vanilla or a strawberry. Through these two deterministic enums, we will be able to identify which type of ice cream I am going to return. And cup and brick will be returned through the factory. As I am writing here, cup ice cream factory will return cup type. And this will extend abstract ice cream factory and will get a method. Inside this method, on the basis of ice cream type, we will return this cup ice cream because it's a factory of cup type. So if ice cream comes out to be of vanilla enum, I will simply return vanilla cup. If it comes out to be other type, that is strawberry type. So I will return in that case, I will retire the other case that is case strawberry and return strawberry cup type. So this factory will return the cup type only on the basis of enum which will be provided. Default case will be null for any other types to be asked by the user and similar kind of implementation will also be implemented in the different factory pattern that is brick type ice cream factory and this will also extend the ice cream abstract ice cream factory and same method will be here also and on the basis of enum type i will be returning the brick type so if it is coming out to vanilla i will return simply vanilla brick and if it is coming out to be strawberry, then strawberry brick. So these two are different factories and their abstract layer is abstract ice cream factory. And through this main method, I am going to call this ice cream factory through abstract ice cream factory layer. So I have created this factory of cup type and through this cup type, I'm going to create another type and this another type will be not the cup, but the brick type. So I'll write here brick ice cream factory or brick factory. Let it be new. It will be a brick ice cream factory. 
So as you can see this abstract pattern provides an extra layer to get to exact factory and to the curve factory we got our ice cream through the method get ice cream by type and we have provided it as vanilla so we will get vanilla as a cup not as a brick so vanilla cup will be returned. Similarly we will get strawberry also and I am printing here through the get ice cream name method as you can see vanilla cup and strawberry cup are received through abstract ice cream factory pattern. Similarly I will go for the brick also and I will ask this abstract layer to provide me and to take me to a factory where the brick is being built and this will provide me a factory where brick is actually being built and through this factory we will be able to receive our brick vanilla ice cream and brick strawberry ice cream. So the return will type will be vanilla brick and let me name it as PB and this will be vanilla brick similarly strawberry brick as it's a factory of bricks ice cream. So and this VB will be replaced by VC here and also strawberry brick will be used here to get ice cream name. Now when I will run this I will get all the type of ice creams through different factories and this abstract layer will help me out to get to different type of factories. So first was as you can see it's a cup factory, second is a brick factory. We went to different factories and we have received different type of ice creams through our abstract layer. So it is called as factory or factory abstract factory design pattern. Thank you all for watching this video.